we'll find it. And I'll put it on. And you can just see just the rainbow of emotions that come over them in their, their body language and their facial expressions when they hear a song that their grandma used to sing to them when they were five. Jeff was, uh, was the embodiment of, of this store, right? And when Jeff passed away and the store shut down, there was a lot of people, like, I, I got a little teary-eyed. Uh, there's a lot of memories here, a lot of good memories. You had Mothers downtown, you had uh, Pepper Records, you had uh, Kelly's Records, you had Records on Wheels. Uh, there, was, there was so much record activity, and uh, once, once CDs and, and digital media came out, uh, a lot of that, a lot of those, they couldn't compete, they went by the wayside. This was sort of like the last vestige of, of uh, record stores. Jeff passed away about three, three and a half years ago, and that's when the store closed. It was under lock and key until we reopened it today. When we were maintaining the property, there's a lot of notes slipped under the, under the, under the door. Uh, uh, what's going on with the store? Uh, is the store gonna reopen? What's happened? You know, like there was a lot of interested parties like that, that really had a, an emotional attachment to this store. There's Ella Fitzgerald. Oh, there we go, Elvis. Oh, yeah. But a lot of people have discovered that it's the warmth of vinyl that you can't replicate with a digital reproduction of the music. Geez, I mean, for me, it's like collecting sports cards, you know, because uh, you, and you get songs on the 45s you don't get on the LPs, like the small bands, you know, Winnipeg groups that didn't have the money to record LPs, you know. So that's why I collect them, because I like all the local stuff. It'll be a loss that it's gone, but it's good that we're having one last hurrah. <laughs> this is the big snip. Hello, John Coltrane, John Lee Hooker, Albert Ayler. This is the plan right here. I paid twenty dollars for this, but I'm buying it again to give it away. And Jeff was a character, uh, eccentric but a lovable guy. Uh, just uh, uh, had a story, had a story to tell for for anybody that walked through the door. Had a smile for everybody. There's a lot of memories, a lot of a lot of. A lot of well-wishers, actually, uh, wondering what happened to the store, and they, they, they want it to continue. They want the store to continue.